Hi! Welcome back to my channel. My name is Janelle Samora and this is Scent Talk from my closet, the fragrance closet. Um, on this channel, we do go over all things fragrance. We talk about layering combos. We go over niche houses, designer fragrances, lotions, oils, layering combos. Um, if I've heard about it, you know, I might want to give it a shot on the channel and fill you guys in on how, you know, the results and how things wear. So if that's something that you're interested in, go ahead and hit the like button. In, subscribe to the channel and um, hit the notification bell so you'll be notified two new videos um, we also like to focus on one uh, I was gonna say channel I always want to say channel um, one perfume house at a time or one topic at a time and so this week we've been focusing on Juliana's perfumes um, they're, they're extract the perfumes. So this is a uh, house that does inspired by fragrances and they actually tackle some of the most really, really hard to find or, uh, expensive niche fragrances, um, or even designer or private, uh, designer private lines. Uh, for example, the Armani Privé line, um, by our by the Armani house the designer house uh they have one called Bad B which is uh the Rouge Malachite and it is by Armani Privé Rouge Malachite and we tried that out so um normally we'll just go through you know if I have several we'll do first impressions and then out of that lineup if you're interested in knowing more about that fragrance then you'll tune in for the rest of the week and I will update my wear tests my results uh what that fragrance gave on my skin and the performance longevity all that good stuff um so We've done a couple already. We've done Bad B. We've done Oud Orange Imperia, which my uh, little one was here with me, my sidekick, on Saturday. We went through all eight samples. She chose the Oud Orange Imperia, and then we followed up on Sunday with the results. Um, and then for today's wear, I chose to wear Red Carpet Affair. Um, oh, where are my notes? So this is a beautiful fragrance. So this is Juliana's Perfumes. Like I said, it is an inspired by fragrance house. It is a really, really affordable way to get your nose on some niche fragrances, some new fragrances that you've never been able to smell before, which is what I'm doing. I've never uh, smelled Angel Angelique Noir. Uh, by um, or Noir, I'm not sure. This one has an E at the end. Noir, no, Noir. <laughs> um, Angelique Noir. I'm just gonna say Noir. Uh, Red Carpet Affair. Very, 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 very beautiful fragrance. I was so, um, you know, just tickled by this one. Okay, so let me go over the notes real quick in a little bit of detail. We have top notes of Angelica, pear, and pink pepper mid notes of jasmine and caraway what is caraway i was gonna look that up and it just whoo then we have base notes of vanilla angelica and cedar again with the angelica and then um so juliana's perfumes has angelica vanilla pear sweet lavender rose musk and jasmine sandbag which is very different i don't see the jasmine sandbag here in the original notes um, so Angelique Noir can run you a good, uh, it was released in 2005. It is by the house of Guerlain and it will run you a good four or $500, um, you know, out there on the market right now. And Juliana's perfumes does their version for $69. So talk about guilt-free spraying, or that's what I like to call it when it is, you know, something that is might seem unattainable to me and then first of all I get my nose on it and second of all you know I get to spray away like you know this is not no 50 60 dollar spray <laughs> that's how I feel anyways I don't know I feel like mm, this is just delicious so um even did y'all see the the note comparison there mm, angelica vanilla and pear we have those I think the only difference here is sweet lavender and the rose and musk and jasmine sandbag. Well, that's quite a bit of difference. <laughs> oh, okay, but anyways, 
I read the reviews because I always will do my due diligence as well and read up on reviews. And a lot of the reviews for Red Carpet Affair were mentioning that it is just a beautiful fragrance. Both of them, the original and this one, is a beautiful fragrance. And it does compare very, very nicely. It is an amber floral, of course. Um, and it is still okay. So this to my little one, it, to her, it smells like green Skittles. It's that angelica note and the pear together. It really does give you like a green opening. I want to say that I read that the original is slightly greener. Like if you're, you know, if you're into that type of opening. I like a good green opening. I like neroli. I like when fragrances open up with neroli. Um, you know, and maybe even in the mid notes have some neroli in them as well. Um, this one doesn't. This one opens up slightly green and then it and then it stays sweet. Those wafts of I was getting wafts of vanilla throughout the day and then I would get the pear again and then it was a really enjoyable fragrance. I will say this. Um I did uh, apply it at 7 this morning. I only went in with the CeraVe. I don't like to go in with, um, you know, lotion up with anything that is going to change the fragrance or, you know, too much before I get to know it. Uh, so I normally go with any unscented lotion. And this one's very lightweight. Um, so that is what I normally do. Now that I know what it gave, now that I know that it's going to be wafting vanilla here and there and that it's slightly sweet. No, it's a lot sweet to me. That's how it was on my skin anyway. So the fragrance is still here somewhere. It might be on my clothes because I sprayed it in here. But it is not strong at all. It has definitely dissipated. All of the Julianas perfumes are extract the perfumes. Um, and you can go back and watch the other videos and see how those performed. This one left the building, like on my skin at least. It's not here anymore. Out. I want to give it till about 3.30ish is when I noticed that it was not here with me anymore on my skin at all. Um, you know which one did go the distance was the video from yesterday if y'all want to go back and check that one out. Where did I put it? I was already like, yeah, this is mine. This is, I love it. And I did. I don't know where I put it. <laughs> uh, but anyways, um. Yeah, yesterday's fragrance. We can go back and watch that one. Um, Red Carpet Affair. Anyways, I really, really did fall in love with this uh, fragrance. I really, really did. If at any given point or time I am in the market for a four or $500 fragrance, then I would definitely go for this. Or if I find it a, a great price. I did not look up whether or not this was one of those discontinued fragrances. I don't think it is, but I think it's one of the ones that they say that the older formulation is more potent and it goes the distance and it lasts a lot longer than this one did. I know that this one for sure, this uh, Julianas Perfumes version, did not um on my skin anyways there's a couple of comparisons on uh the on on the internet saying that this one compares to mancera velvet vanilla now i have mancera velvet vanilla and honestly it doesn't to me compare oh gosh it does <laughs> I'm barely now getting that comparison. It's the vanilla and the rose together. I think that has rose. I'm not sure. I would need to look up. Wow. Okay. There's slight remnants of this in here. That is interesting to do like a side by side. So, wow. Okay. This would pair really well. And if you're familiar with Mancera Rose's vanilla, this is a beast mode fragrance i made the mistake one day um and we were headed to a barbecue we usually always go to a barbecue and i did close to it was more than 12 sprays for sure wow i had to sit by the fan because and then the entire area you know i was competing with that barbecue smoke because this was wow <laughs> this is nuclear you guys this is mancera velvet vanilla okay it does have this one though reminds me of like um 
like sweet bread, like, like those, like, I don't know, you know, I was raised, um, in a Hispanic household and we always had bread on Sundays and this is reminding me of those of those stars with the pink frosting if if you if you're with me hit the like button <laughs> if you're not hit the subscribe button <laughs> I'm stealing that from Sheree she's always talking about hitting buttons um, it doesn't matter if you follow me or not you know just hit a button um, love her and anyways so I can't wait to do a Mancera week. I really haven't gotten to know, even though I've worn them before and I've oversprayed them, uh, I haven't gotten to know my Manceras too well. That's why I was like, no, Angelique Noir does not, does, or Noria does not smell like ma velvet Mancera. And it kind of does. Oh, that's interesting. So yeah, that would be, if you want this to go the distance, um, I would say it would mix very, very well, but be careful because it might overpower it. I would The ratio I would do if I was experimenting, and we'll do it later, is I would probably do um, one spray on each wrist of the, of the Velvet Vanilla, um, on each wrist, and then one spray like just around this general area. So that would cover me for the velvet uh, Mancera. I mean, yeah, the velvet vanilla, sorry. And then I would just go in with like maybe six sprays of this. I know it sounds like a lot, but I honestly think that that would, that would be pretty good. And if I needed to change the ratio or adjust it, then I would just mess with it. Yes, uh, I'm excited. Um, to me, even though this, I mean, that's a good 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 30 ish. So it went eight hours, you guys. Um, so this fragrance alone, and I can still smell it somewhere on me. It's just, it's just not like, you know, it's not on my skin. It's not in my, it's not in my hair. I, I didn't spray my hair. I didn't get my hair today with this. So I don't know where it's at, but it's somewhere projecting still. Um, so, you know, it's not too weak. It was not offensive uh, to anyone. And it, it, it's a delicious fragrance. Um, I think it got up to like 77, 78 today. Uh, but I can imagine that this would be good in the cold weather as well. You know, um, it was cold this morning and it smelled delicious. So I'm really happy with Red Carpet Affair. This is definitely a, um, what is the word? A full bottle worthy fragrance for me. Um, possibly not the, the original Guerlain. Maybe only this one. Um, or I would like to sample it, possibly. Really, really nice, you guys. I, I really did enjoy it. They also compare it to Io Duele uh, by Diptych. And I always misspell Diptych. <laughs> I've noticed. It's D-I-P-T-I-Q-U. Uh, There's a Y somewhere. And they also are comparing it to Aura by Mugler. So that's interesting. And I have read that the Aura by Mugler is a little bit green like a little bit too green, like a little bit you're in the forest taking a hike. <laughs> Can't wait to get my nose on Muggler and do, do a Muggler week, um, even though I just broke my Alien Fusion. <laughs> okay, so that's it for the wear test. Beautiful fragrance. Um, can't wait to, to get into that Mancera house. Now it's got me thinking. Um, so yeah, we'll pick another scent of the day for tomorrow. It, it did go, you know, a pretty good distance. So I would say it's full bottle worthy just to get that aura, that smell. It's, it's you know, I'm always at brunch and I'm never at brunch. But that's, I guess, what I like to do or what I would like to do in retirement is have brunch all the time. Like, let's do this. So good. Okay, so that was that. I hear Charlie coming. Um, and we have... One, two, three, four to choose from for the next few days. We have Inner Beauty, which is Delina, the Delina dupe. I want to say we could go with that because I was already thinking that I could do Sex on Fire for Friday night or for Friday in general. So nice. That's uh, the Absolute Aphrodisiac by Initio or yeah, something like that. Heavenly Soul. Now this one is Grease Dior. That one smells nice too, but I'm scared. I'm scared of these two. This one has oak moss, sandalwood, rose, amber, patchouli, cedar, white musk, lemon, bergamot, green notes, and aquatic notes. We could try Grease Dior. Maybe we'll try. Uh, it's between those three for tomorrow because I'm not sure. 
if I could do In the Mood, which is uh, uh, Oud, MFK's Oud Satin Mood. I already tried Oud once and I got burned. <laughs> All right. So we'll choose one for tomorrow and I'll come back, follow up um, on that. And I keep thinking that I'm leaving something out and I can't remember it, but uh, I'll come back if, if, I, if I need to throw something else in here for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that, um, you know, explanation of how Red Carpet Affair wore and got a vivid picture for it. It is here somewhere, like I said. I don't know where, probably on my clothes somewhere. I can smell it <laughs> and I'm enjoying it. So, yeah. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you guys tomorrow. We'll see what we choose. We are doing Juliana's perfumes all week. <laughs>